टू एन एच थ्री गिविंग आस ई जी एन एच थ्री होल ट्वाइस सी एल सो दिस इज द रिएक्शन दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो जस्ट मग अप दिस रिएक्शन बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू आर आस्क टू राइट द रिएक्शन विच इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड दिस इज सोल्यूबल वेर एज दिस इज इन सोल्यूबल ओके सो Uh, when you add concentrated ammonia, however, even AgBr will dissolve. So AgBr does not dissolve in dilute ammonia, but it dissolves in concentrated ammonia. So AgCl will dissolve in both dilute and concentrated. AgBr only dissolves in concentrated, and Ag AgI does not dissolve in either dilute or concentrated. So this is AgCl is both. AgBr is only concentrated to dissolve, and AgI does not dissolve in either dilute. Or concentrated. So now let's look at the reactions of halide ions with concentrated sulfuric acid, which is an oxidizing agent. And it's not just an oxidizing agent; it's a very powerful oxidizing agent. So remember, first the first thing you need to remember is that the, uh, concentrated sulfuric acid is a very powerful oxidizing agent. Now. when we add when we add a uh, concentrated sulfuric acid to a solution with chloride ions for example to nacl not just a solution but even to a solid with chloride ions then we will get nahso4 and hcl now hcl uh, is in gaseous state so we see white fumes we see steamy fumes not white fumes we see steamy fumes which tell us that hcl is being liberated so this is the observation in this reaction now the hcl does not further decompose to form cl2 because the thing is that you know that cl2 and h2so4 both are very strong oxidizing agents right cl2 and the uh, sulfuric acid are both very strong oxidizing agents so if hcl were to decompose to uh, if if h2so4 it oxidizes cl2 cl2 that would not be feasible because cl2 does not like cl cl2 wants to form cl negative In, and cl negative does not want to form cl2 so that's why h2so4 even though it's a powerful oxidizing agent it is not powerful enough to oxidize hcl to cl2 because even cl2 is quite a, a, a strong oxidizing agent so you need to remember that now in the case of nabr solid when we add it to h2so4 again we get nhso nhso4 and hbr so NaHSO4 is the same, but instead of HCl, we get HBr. Now the thing is that even though chlorine is a strong oxidizing agent, like concentrated sulfuric acid, bromine is not that strong as an oxidizing agent. Chlorine is stronger than bromine in terms of its oxidizing abilities. So therefore, the H2SO4 is powerful enough to oxidize HBr to Br2. SO2 uh, uh, and and the other products are SO2 and water which is H2O so actually this water is liquid uh, i think it is liquid um no yeah it's liquid so just change it to just change it to li liquid over here now you can see that from br negative this went from br2 which means that br negative has been oxidized and this reaction only takes place because uh, br2 is not as strong an oxidizing agent as concentrated sulfuric acid however we do not see a similar reaction in the case of chloride ions because cl2 is is quite strong as an oxidizing agent so its oxidizing abilities are similar to those of sulfuric acid and that's why uh, sulfuric acid is not able to oxidize hcl now in this reaction we see a red brown vapor because we see bromine gas not liquid we see bromine gas produced which is a red brown vapor and that's why we see that's an observation for this reaction and this is and this is just an explanation for what is happening now in the case of iodide ions uh, when we add nai to h2so4 then again the first thing we get is nhso4 solid and hi gas but again iodine is not as strong an oxidizing agent as chlorine so this hi which is formed over here it is oxidized by the excess h2so4 to form iodine uh, sulfur dioxide and h2o or iodine 
सल्फर एंड एच टू ओ और आयोडीन एच टू एस एंड एच टू ओ